Okay, sports fans. No joking around today, right, gentlemen? That's correct. That's correct. It's a serious discussion. <laughs> I said no joking around. Seriously, now. There'll be no none of this, no applauding. Okay. All right. We have two gentlemen. Well, I said gentlemen. From uh, two of the six, five, sorry, from the select board. I take a bow. We have John Cunningham. All right, give him a hand. All right, that's enough. Thank you, John. Not be easy. I got a bad thumb. All right, okay. thank you, John. Then we have Scott Hazelton. Thank. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're hitting my thumb, John. Bad thumb. Yeah. Right. So uh, we're going to talk about the uh, two and a half override uh, that uh, people uh, in Westford are going to have to vote on. They vote twice. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's correct. Uh, first vote is at the town meeting on the 23rd of uh, March, which starts at 9, but you better get there earlier because you, you don't want to be shuttled in from Cleveland, right? They the, open the, today. The scuttle buses. Yeah. Scuttle buses? <laughs> shuttle. Yeah, scuttle bu yeah, yeah. Shuttle buses. Shuttle buses, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know it was something. Two, two, uh, two buses and two... Um, Two vans, so if you're handicapped accessible. Two limos. <laughs> there'll be vans. But we also have arranged for the entire front row of parking at the Academy will be for handicapped. So Where do you come in, in the front? You come in the yeah, front, yes. That's where that main door right. is. Right? So there's, there's, I think, three or four handicapped signs. So where, where we have the entire, where, the entire front where is, the, where is the auditorium? You walk, it's just the gymnasium and the auditorium. So you walk oh, I know, in. the gymnasium is not that. That's where the food is, right? No, that's no, the cafeteria. Gymnasium. Close enough. So wh where exactly is the? I've never been to the auditorium. If you walk in the walk in that front, front door, yeah. straight ahead to the left will be the gymnasium. The first 800 people will go in there. If it's overflow, we'll use the auditorium for the next 800. So what, where is the auditorium? Right by the front door. As we come in, right, right, right there. Yeah. The first eight, the first 800 winners, go to the. Uh, Gym. 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 Right. There'll be signs. There'll be people there. All right. Let me see. And when you register, what do they want to know? That you're a resident? They show them a license? Or nope. Uh, that's, not, that's not required in Massachusetts. You just give them your name and address. Um, they have got a, they've got electric, these are, they've got like a pull pads, electronic. Oh. It's very quick to look you up and okay. um, to give mm -hmm. you a stamp on your hand and you give you a clicker and you're in. What's the difference between the red and the green? Isn't red and green? Red and blue, I believe, but um, oh. but this is just, the, the red will be for the Gymnasium oh. and green and blue mm. for the auditorium, just so we can keep track of who's, who's, who's where for the votes. And, 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 and when you vote, you put just a clicker. So it, yep. what is there, a yes and a no side? Yeah. Yes. How about uh, undecided? Oh, they just, don't, just can't don't have that. We don't have that there because we throw you out. You just don't All right, so yeah, and the registration starts at 8. Correct. Yeah, you, uh, they're open to sign in. I plan in. to be there at 8. Okay. Well, should we, are you going to cater breakfast? No, I think they may have some donuts or something there. Oh, I don't great. know where. Thank you. Okay. Very nutritional. Very nutritional. Very <laughs> nutritional. All right. So there is the, pizza for lunch. Who? There is pizza for lunch. Well, I'm not staying that long. Okay. <laughs> so w w the first item up is the two and a half override. That's yes. Right. You, you have a question, John? No, I'm just looking at well, you. Well, don't look like that. Sit back, relax. <laughs> <laughs> not electrified. Get out okay. of the way. Okay. All right, John. No. Okay. All right. So uh, now you per no personal. By the way. You got to get out and vote for both of them. I mean, not for, uh, you t don't say, oh, "Well, I vote at the uh, a ballot question." Just go out there and vote at the uh, town meeting, and then go ahead and vote at the ballot. Don't wait. Yeah. All right, don't wait, and don't say, "Well, it ain't going to do any good." Notice the English. It's not going to do any good. Why should I vote? Get out there and vote. If you don't like it, you got to show, show some opposition to it. That's all. Even when you're going to lose, should you lose? Uh, you got to get out there and show something instead of being steamrolled over. All right. Now, I have two basic qu Oh, sorry, you're over there. Two basic questions. <laughs> Cheap seats. Uh, number one, uh, we have the override, right? And it's for three years, not one, two, or three, right? Correct. Now, so the two and a half makes it jump two and a half every year? But if you, with, with the override, your taxes grow, go up every year. Two and a half percent plus new growth. Um, new what? So the town can raise taxes with its current base of value mm -hmm. times two and a half percent mm -hmm. plus any new growth. So if we have, when we do build Cornerstone, for example, yeah. we had we had money coming in from that yeah. that year over and above two and a half that we could use. Well, how does that affect my taxes? It doesn't. Oh, all right. Who cares? No. Yeah. No, so, and, and some of the some of the commercial people have left, right? So, that, yes, so yeah. the burden goes to the people who live there, right? Well, so yeah, the commercial exemption, or the, so the commercial tax rate, um, sorry, 
The commercial tax rate is the same as residential tax rate. Right. Commercial value is a function of not, not just the number of buildings, but the value of that building, which is a function of the rent. So yes, with a uh, tough office market, um, we've got a higher vacancy rate than we'd like on the commercial buildings, therefore their values have, have gone down. So even though the, the balance of land doesn't change much, the value of, of the commercial land has dropped relative to residential. Okay. Hence so it's shifting the share. to the residential. What's that? It's shifting more toward the residential. I don't like that. No. Don't let me. Uh, the, what's that? I don't blame you. Thank you very much. Thank you. For, should have been four to one, not five nothing. Come on. <laughs> Three, two, baby. Well, the, pro, the, the thing is with, we, we don't get to set the values of commercial. That's done I understand by, that. through assessors, uh -huh. and, and uh -huh. they have a process looking at you know comparative values, and it's, right. it's, it's, there's a very strict you know code for that. Now, my, my 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 first question. I only have two questions. Okay. So my first question is, uh, as the two and a half currently stands, there's nothing in there for the plight of the people who are on a fixed income, or the ones who are the working poor. Now. I would propose that there's an exemption in there. If you make, for instance, if your income is $80,000, and now 80000 is nothing because of inflation now. It's nothing. It doesn't look, it's not really 80. You're getting clobbered. And the per capita is 72 right now. So uh, say, say it's 80000 below, you get an exemption. Now, this exemption would be increased by two and a half each year for the three year override. Now, Somebody might say, well, that shifts a lot of the burden to the rich people. Well, excuse me? They have the money. You, you, you can't, you don't do something like this. You're going to wind up driving, like the fixed income people, a lot of them out of town. And, and some of the working poor, you're going to drive them into homelessness. Now, uh, be, I don't see how uh, this, this uh, problem can be ignored. I, I know the schools want this, and this, everybody wants something, but th there's got to be a, a something in there to help the people out who don't have the money to do this. All right? It, it's not in there right now. My question is, why isn't it in there? Yeah, so, go ahead. Scott. Well, no, so, I mean, two th things. One is, we're very aware of the fact that there's a segment of a population this is going to really hurt, right. and we've, we've, we've tried to... You know, the budget gap was bigger. We've tried to trim that, and you know, the 6.8 is where we came to um, as preserving what we thought was the core town services and, and police and fire. Well, and, and, but, but, but we recognize okay, so there, there was a problem. And secondly, um, how do you fix that? Well, we do have certain exemptions in town. That well, I understand that. I know that I knew, I knew you'd bring this. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, those exemptions are not good enough. I would agree. Not good. Okay, you agree. I agree. All right, you agree too. Right. But the the, the, the why, why, why isn't something specifically put in there then? If you realize there's a problem, you have to put something in there to solve the problem. All right. And and, and if this shifts uh, some more taxes to the rich, they can afford it. I mean, uh, I'm on a fixed income. I. What are you trying to do? Blow me up? You can't. I mean, no, you, uh, well, you can't do this. You can't keep, it's like trying to get blood out of a rock. After a while, forget it. You like but that analogy? I do, but the, 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 the state um, determines how you value property and how you exempt individuals. There is no state code authoring us, authorizing us okay. to make that change. And, and that's the- uh, That's a problem right there. Which we will, we have this, our state, Representative and our state senator are coming to us on April 23rd, I believe, mm -hmm. us being a select board. Mm -hmm. I, I expect that one of the questions that we ask, which is, what do we do um, as we look at increasing taxation on people whose fixed incomes are tied to Social Security at, what, 3% right. per year? Mm -hmm. um, now, okay, I gave you a level, all right? Mm -hmm. And that level would sound high in past years, but not now, because it's, and today the inflation rate, it's higher than what they expected. It's not going away, okay. Which, on the other hand, would probably prevent the Federal Reserve from lowering rates because it would make it, it would fuel the fire for going higher. Something has to be done. And I, 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 first of all, I don't know why the state stopped the funding. What the hell is the matter with them? They get all this money for the people who came across the border without, you know, not waiting five years to get in. They got money for that. What about we're here, you know? Mm -hmm. I've been in this country 78 years. You know, you're only 35, I know, and you're 29. <laughs> but, I mean, I've had it up to here. 
yeah. with all this political mumbo jumbo. I don't want to hear numbers. Th these politicians, they could do something if they want to, but there's no, there's a lot of inertia. Do it. Think, now they go to church or synagogue or a mosque, right? And, and, the, and the leaders tell the person up front, the, the rabbi, or, rabbi or priest, whatever, says, love thy neighbor and all this stuff. Then, then they come outside. They don't practice that. It's me, 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 me. I don't care what happens to my uh, brother. I don't care, well, you know, brother in quotes. I don't care. I don't see. That's hypocritical. I just don't see how people can do that. How do, can they... How can they blind themselves to this? How can, how can they be so uh, uncaring? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just don't get it. I could not do that. Okay? I couldn't do it. You got to take care of everybody. If you got the money, all right? Well, then so be it. These people don't. What are you going to, you're going to wind up, they, keep it up, you're going to wind up with the uh, bus from becoming the conquered of northern Massachusetts. That's what's going to happen. You're going to drive out people like myself. And uh, why drive people into homelessness? I don't get it. You, you have to have some kind of compassion for this. You have to. You know, and, and people, well, we don't have this, we don't have that, we don't, it's not allowed. Well, then get somebody to change the damn thing. Yeah. It's like yeah. the mayor of Boston. We want all this. Oh, don't the governor, right? The yeah. governor want money, more and more money for the people who came in for the... Uh, Texas. Yes, they've got the shelters right You've got the money for that. What about us, for crying out loud? Well, We've been here, uh, you know, when, when I was uh, at school, it was the Vietnam War. I didn't go to Canada. All right? Mm. I went, to, I was drafted, drafted. I signed up with the Navy, all right? Yeah. Okay. I didn't go to Canada. I could have, right? But I didn't. Why, why? What's the problem here? It's like nobody brings this up. They give it, they give it lip service, okay? Now, I'm not attacking you two guys generally, but I'd love to. No, what uh, can can this be amended? No, I I, my, I think we're limited on what we can do uh, with the taxes mm -hmm. right now. I think we have to work through the state. Uh, we work with the assessor, and we, we're taking a look at everything we can possibly do. You know, we have some exemptions for for veterans. We have yeah, I got other that. exemptions, right? Yeah. And so we're trying to maximize that, and we do. I think we've maximized what we can do there. But, but the, the question's going to be, uh, how do we do that generally overall? How could you create a, a, either a pool of money or some kind of exemption that is just based on uh, just the average citizen yeah. that has a fixed income? Right. And well, one that, I don't know one how we so do poor. that except through the state. The state. Well, uh, see, then uh, the problem lies with the state. There's somebody who has some kind of power or the group uh, should get together and go up there and say, you don't cover these people. Why don't you? I know that you, you know, I don't know what their income is or what they get for being that. But I don't think they're, uh, they're not on fixed income. They're not on uh, a working poor. Do something. Don't talk about it. Do it. See, this is what always goes on. Well, it does this and it does that. Get off your tushy or patootie, right? Mm -hmm. And do something about it. Yeah. Don't just talk. Yeah. Get active in it and do it. Otherwise, you're changing nothing and, 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 and pardon in English, you're screwing the people who don't have the money. You don't have it. Okay? There must, you have to solve this problem. You can't just kick it down the road as Congress is kicking down the, what is it, how many a trillion dollars? That we have a debt. What, what's our what's our national debt? Yeah, it's thirty something trillion. I yeah, think. Yeah, thirty three, thirty four. They yeah. just kick it down the road. It's going to come back to bite you. Yeah. You can't keep doing that, and you cannot keep ignoring these people. Where the hell do you want us to live in Ashby or some other place? I'll go to the Berkshires and drive into the Market Basket. You know, once a week. You know. <laughs> come on now. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're aware of the problem, and we, we we're trying to do what we can within our limits. Well, you're limited we, then, right? Yeah, I think we are well, limited to our options. What, what about, you guys get, you guys, and there's a lady here. Yeah. You, you people get together, right? What other people, like town, the manager and all that? Get a thing going. You've got to change it. You've got to do something. We want to change, and we can't do it because our hands are tied. Right. Well, we're going to be addressing it with, with our representatives at that meeting in April. What, what's the we're going to be addressing it with RCRO Who, and oh, RCRO. Yeah. Oh, who's the other one? Uh, I believe I believe Senator Cronin is our yeah, Cronin. Cronin. Senator. Yeah. There two of them. Wait, well, one's the, the senator, senator and one's the representative. All right. Yeah. 
They're both Democrats, right? Oh, yeah. Well, hard to be a Republican and be elected in this state. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, come on, I'll agree with that. Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> all right. So, look, you can tell them, I'm, I'm not throwing bull out here, all right? No. You can tell I'm sincere in what I'm saying. Yeah. Notice I did it without errors. <laughs> It's all from here. It's too much. And this country as a whole, I don't care. I got mine. I want more. Mm -hmm. How the hell can you do this? They, they used to be, you know, if this attitude were around during World War II, we would have lost. Uh, I know. I, I had a rather unique path to the select board. I began work with affordable housing mm -hmm. and the, the housing authority in Westford. So I'm very all too aware. In fact, I, that's why I kind of why I joined the board was because we had insufficient stock of affordable housing. We had almost no housing for those with special needs, you mm -hmm. know, group homes. Um, and it's hard to do that, you know, without some kind of of uh, townwide platform. Okay. So we have improved it. So no, I, I I hear you, but um, as John says, the there's a limit to what we can do the <coughs> on, at the, the town level. The problem is the state. I don't know how the heck cleaning it up. How the heck they pulled funding? I don't understand it. What did they do with it? Give it to the Red Sox or something. What the hell do they do with the money? Well, it, it's got to exist. Well, there's another problem. The state aid has gone up very meagerly over yeah, the last that's 10 what they years pulled, or wasn't so. It? Well, they just keep the, the you know, it's maybe it's $20 million or something like that, but it doesn't go up very much. Yeah, the average growth of state aid over the past, I think, 10 years has been 1%. Yeah. 1%. Um, well, what the one, hell? Oh, uh, exactly. Whereas, the inflation's are much higher. Thank uh, you very much. Even yeah. a good year inflation's too. Yeah. 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 Uh, Social Security went up 3.2 percent. How would I know that? Okay, 3.2 percent, right? So they, w great, you know. And then they raised Medicare. Well, thank you for taking some of that back. Thank you very much. Yeah, most well, of them, yeah. What the hell, huh? Yeah. A a a Maybe we need something like Prop 13 in California. What was that? Well, what they did is you buy a house at say $200,000, uh -huh. like a lot of our senior citizens started with. And the value of the assessment is on that $200,000 until you sell it. Or All right, of okay, it. that's good. Even though the assessment may change. May keep going up. But the, the, uh, for tax purposes, yeah. it didn't go up. But that creates a problem in revenue to the, to the state. So they, then they get the other things. But anyway, that's what they did. But they've got, there has to be a way, with all these so-called brains, there has to be a way to solve this problem. And don't, don't ignore it. Don't kick it down the road. You know, I don't care if you're a Republican, Democrat, unaligned, independent, or whatever, or libertarian, who cares? Mm -hmm. You got to get together. You see, what's going on, like, in, like, excuse me, as such as Congress, it's boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Used to be, they used to get along. Yeah. When, when uh, uh, Reagan was president, Tip O'Neill. Tip O'Neill, he said, yeah. come on over to the White House, we have a little something, to, you know, and they, they're opposites, but they pounded it out in agreement. Now, Forget it. They can't even agree amongst themselves. Yeah. It's a, I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. That shows a big weakness to uh, to uh, places like Russia and China, mm -hmm. not to mention North Korea or Iran. Yeah. You know, I, I, I just uh, being an older person, I know I don't look it. <laughs> Grew up in New York City, I age rapidly. So uh, you would too, an hour each way in a subway for four years for school. Oh yeah, that's probably fun. Well, wouldn't, well, if you passed out, you wouldn't fall to the floor. <laughs> you open up the door to get a little filthy fresh air. Close it, I'm cold. Get out of here. But I just don't understand the attitude in this country. And, and, and Westwood is a microcosm of that, okay? We, we, it's me, 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 me. I'm not saying you necessarily. But, you know, people with a 10-room house and room for a pony, a pony, a pony. And then they have Maseratis or whatever, and they got to go to uh, some uh, uh, tropical place. Uh, how many times a year? Yeah, mm -hmm. come on now. I go to Law. No, I go to I go to uh, Chelmsford. I go to Acton. Wow. When I'm really fancy, I go to Hudson. Mm -hmm. All right, 22. I want to thank you, gentlemen. See, all right. What was the second question? Well, putting it in. <laughs> how do you put it in? That's what the question was. And you answer that. You're hamstrung. Not hamstrung. Your hands are tied. Yeah, for the, for the towns. Keep it, hey, keep it running. Don't cut it. Keep it going. No, from, from the from the town's perspective, just as your electric bill went up, your heating bill went up, okay. your coverage was up. That's yeah. all from the town side. So, you know, on the override, we're not looking at 
a lot of growth in terms of, in fact, there's no growth in terms of people. Mm -hmm. It's literally uh, the cost of trash collection, the cost of health insurance. Right. And, so okay. we, and those are things we, as select board, can't control. It's up by the market. I understand that. You get, you get hit by inflation. Okay. I get, everybody gets hit by it. But uh, what's in the tank to pay for this, you know? Right, I, I hear you. Um, and then it just can't be ignored. I just don't, we have 558 now, keep going. Uh, that was my second question, how you, uh, why don't we insert something in there? And you said that the state prevents that. Yeah, I, I, I don't see where we could because we had the assessor look at that. We got a, uh, had a briefing on the list of things or options that we have. And there wasn't any option for us to redirect uh, some of our budget how, to how solve about, that problem. How about uh, uh, they? Tr here's it. How about they try to live within their means? I mean, I mean you can hear various numbers uh, for the uh, number of teachers or a number of people mm -hmm. educate. I saw 29 teachers. I don't know what's that right. And you say uh, <clears throat> there's a drop off two firemen, right? Mm -hmm. Well, some are retiring. So you're getting that anyway. All right, well, and some aren't being replaced. But, but what always bothers me is when they got to make cuts. Well, we'll cut the fire department, we'll cut the police department. Is ambulance separate? No, it's part of the fire part department. Of part right. of it. So, uh, well, what, what one of the things the, 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 paramedics, the paramedics on the ambulance are also cross trained for the tower ladder. So yeah. they, they're, they're, they're firefighter paramedics. Yeah. See, my question who are we supposed to do the cutting? Who are we supposed to call? Ghostbusters? If we need help? You know what I mean? Yeah. I think one of the things we're trying to look at, I, at least I'm trying to look at, is uh, what would be the fallback position? What's, what's the minimum mm -hmm. that we continue operations right. in, uh, safely? And we have never had that number. We don't know which, what the n exact number might be. We don't know the exact positions it might, it might affect. Mm -hmm. uh, and a big part of this is the wage increases that have been agreed to. We're under contract the, for the next yeah, two or three years. Thing. When they made these contracts, what, did they do any, everything the union wanted or they tried to cut it back to something more reasonable? Well, well I was in on some negotiations for the town, on the town side, but I wasn't in with the, with the school committee and their negotiations. You know, what, what, uh, I think the, uh, what is it, the average salary here is 75. Well, thousand for teachers. The, the top, no, it's about ninety-three. That the, high? The last, uh, yeah. The no, last, not the upper one. I mean the. Average. Well, I looked on the the, the website for uh, I think it's DSE, and and I saw a figure in 2022, 2021, uh, maybe twenty two, and it said ninety three thousand. That's West the Virginia, average for West Virginia. You know, when the last time I made ninety three thousand a year when I was dreaming. Well, I think that the, the key is whenever we, whether it be town side or school side. We negotiate the contracts to hit the median of our basket communities. All so right. um, we aren't trying to overpay. We aren't trying to underpay. We want to be at, at the average. But and so, ninety-three to me, that ain't nothing. Uh, uh, well, well what, whatever the number, whatever that number is, I don't, yeah. I don't know if it's ninety-three or not. Whatever that number is, yeah. it is the well, average of the market basket of the towns that yeah, right. we've I've been seen assigned to. Yeah. yeah. Do you see? Now it comes in at seventy-two k. Well, that's our average. That's our average income, income. per person. Per person puts us about tenth on that list of fifteen. Yeah, way down. But if you look at uh, uh, that bar market basket, you got four real high yeah, earners right. up there. Is Wellesley one in them. Wellesley uh, and I forget the other three. Yeah. But they're up over. If you look at uh, their uh, numbers for average uh, uh, income. They're in the up to two hundred thousand, one hundred and something thousand. Yeah. They're average way up there. You got the the rest of that group is about eighty something down. Yeah. You can't compare so, us to them. So I, I my opinion is they reached the median of that group is they reached a little bit too far. Well, yeah. but but we also but but in fairness, they, they it's the desert communities which the state picks. But the we also took a look at surrounding towns that were not in the Desi market basket to reflect local market conditions. Mm -hmm. So the Desi average got sort of pushed down a little bit because of bringing in uh, our surrounding communities, which are really the, the competition for, for teachers. Desi is really organized around like students. So how many, what's the, what's the class size? What's the proportion of, mm -hmm. of non-English speakers? What's mm -hmm. the special education uh, you know, count? Those things determine the Desi metric as well as income. Um, but we also took a look at Local local communities because it, that sort of dilutes Buzzley, it makes the average a little more representative. Um, 
but that that's just you know, we're we're paying the average. We aren't yeah. overpaying. Yeah. And if we were and to, you know, the problem really is that of this of this budget deficit, forty percent of it comes from workers' salaries. Mm -hmm. Sixty percent of it comes from other things like trash, spent, special education, okay. bus contracts, and those aren't a function of, of negotiations. Those are a function of. Of, of, of contracts with outside vendors mm -hmm. in the open marketplace that um, we, yeah, but to cut that 60%, we can't not pick up trash, which means you take out of the, that's why we look at 100 education um, FTEs down and 44 townside down with no override, because mm -hmm. we have to make up all that territory on the fixed cost through, through labor yeah. cost. Well, you look at uh, you know, the operating costs of the schools, for example, 80% of that is uh, salaries, well, and then, and then if you've got a 6.3% a in the salary area over one year, that's mm -hmm. that three point something million dollars. That's a nice uh, six rise. That's yeah. a nice ra raise. Right. Yeah, 6.3%. Then you look at a two and a half percent, you know, override. Mm -hmm. A two and a half percent is not enough. No, but it's, it's, it, it, we're going to have to be doing this in a repetitive way. As long as we're moving forward, we can't. Six point three is too high, in my opinion. Well, it, if, you, wait, if you're making an average salary, say with eight ninety, whatever the heck it was, we, and you think that's too low for you, well, nobody's holding you here. You can try going to another district that pays yeah. more. For instance, yeah. Newton, who was out on strike, and what the Wellesleys, they must and Concord probably paid. I'm not sure about Concord. Oh, well, well, their, their average salaries for teachers are higher, much yeah. higher. Yeah. Well, then try to get there. Don't don't tell me that I got to pay you more. I never made anything like that. Mm -hmm. But but you also want to maintain the quality of the school system. I understand system, so. that. But there's got to be. Uh, you got to look at both things. Okay. So you could get if somebody leaves. You put out a, a ad, whatever they call it, for somebody to replace that. At that level, whatever. All right. Well, who said? Dude, that's what you have to do. D don't tell me that I got to keep paying. I, I can't keep paying. All right, and we're, we're clocking down here, mm -hmm. and it's been thrill, real. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, I want to thank you, oh, thank Scott. You. <laughs> right, I get it yes, right. Yep, yep. And John. Yeah, sure. By the way, John, yeah. where are you from? The South. Yeah, originally from Tennessee. Th thank you. Lived here for thirty years. I'm a, well, you didn't lose your accent, son. <laughs> I'm from Southern New York, and I have a Southern accent because it's Southern New York. Well, I spent some time up in Richfield Springs, up in. Uh, North in New York. I lived in Kingston for three years. Well, I'm sorry if you did that. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. Well, I want to thank you, Jennifer, for being here. You explained a lot of stuff. But I'm very upset, you gentlemen. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get I'm it. not happy I get with it. this. I get it. There's a lot of things that have to be fixed, and I bet the legislature will not do it. There's no push, no nothing. Yeah. They have bills that are hung up. You know what I mean? Stop yeah. flashing. All right. Well, thank you. You gentlemen come back Thanks. sometime? Absolutely. All right, now yeah. we have a party for number 200. You be there. I'll be there. You be there. Yeah, okay. All right. Like my southern accent, sir? <laughs> You're trying pretty hard. So thank you very much. Yeah. All right, <laughs> y'all. All right, so uh, you, that's our wonderful song. You can look in there. We're still on. So then yeah. it did, we didn't have it. Is, and when it comes to weather, Cohen smart. As New York as you get, his money's on the Mets. Which goes to show that Ed's a Joe always bets his heart. You'll hear a slick review or two from Nicky. And can't or something, Berg will sing some song. There's weather news and shtick, enough to make you sick. You'll be glad you can.